my little room. She's so adorable. I'm loving the green. They just, they're just mirrors everywhere in this place. Wait, let me move this. Hi guys, so I'm in Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess who's on their first solo trip? I am so excited to be here. It's my first time going away by myself. For some reason, I don't feel nervous at all. Like, I guess a little bit of healthy nerves, but like, not too much. I'm actually really excited to experience the city by myself. I've wanted to come to Copenhagen for the longest time. I'm so happy I'm finally here. <laughs> Thankfully, they let me check in really early. I'm so happy, like I literally arrived at, in this country at 10 o'clock. It's currently 11 and I'm in my hotel, like, Check-in was supposed to be three o'clock. I'm just so blessed, I'm so blessed. So I actually don't know what I'm gonna do today yet. I'm going to try and find a bakery now for breakfast. I haven't eaten all morning and explore the city a little bit. I wanna do a walking tour if I can find one today, but hey, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even show you guys my outfit. This is the outfit of the day. It's making me feel like that girl, cause I am that girl, what do you mean? This is what we're working with. And yeah. Come on, so turn the key and cool her off. A pause for relief. Three pairs, you don't even have to ask to be the cat in the sun. Someday, this is the, the place I will see the The walking tour went great. We had a great guy. His name was Papito. I think the company is called Guru or something in case you're interested. Yeah, I started talking to the two girls who were on the tour. They're two French girls who live in London. They were so nice. So we went to a coffee store afterwards and we just sat and spoke and had coffee for like two hours. So let's just been going good so far. Day one has been really fun. I love it out here. Hey guys, I'm going out for dinner now. So look, this is the face. So I'm back. I wanted to show you my dress. This is the dress I wore for dinner. Isn't she summery? <laughs> when I tell you, dinner was so good. I went to the Market Italian for anyone who's interested in coming to Copenhagen. 100% recommend it. The staff are so nice, but the food the food it's been a long time since i've had that good italian as in like and i also ordered something random off the menu i like that like i like trying new things so i was like even though i'm really hungry and i'm not in the mood to be disappointed let me just try this and it it way surpassed my expectations filled my craving so yeah i am entering that bed right now i love you guys see you tomorrow why is this weird? Good morning, friends. It's day two in Copenhagen. This is my outfit. Today I am going into, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm gonna go to Buka Bakery to start in the morning. Then I'm gonna try and do some shopping. I'm gonna try and find a jacket today. Hopefully I can find one. I'm gonna look for a Max Mara around and see if they have any of their autumn winter collections on sale because it's summer now. So who's buying thick jackets? 
except people like me. Going to do a bit of shopping. Might look for a new bag or something. I'm going to the Swedish stores, the vintage stores, the ceramic stores. Because today is actually the only day the shops are going to be open while I'm here. Who, like... Why is it always my luck that when I come to a place, that's when things are like, it's flipping Easter and there's three bank holidays in one weekend. There were no shops open yesterday, none open tomorrow and none open on Monday. And I'm here from yesterday until Monday. So this is my only chance, right? This is my only chance to do some shopping. So I'm going to shop till I drop, 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 drop today. Yeah, we'll see what the day has. back to my hotel now. I've had a successful shopping day. Picked up a few pieces that I've wanted for a long time. For example, this jacket. I've also wanted a particular cardigan from Axel Arigato and they have a store here. Like I didn't know until I was on Google Maps and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh. Also got Bacajav Rouge. I didn't say that well, guys, I'm not French, but I got a perfume I've wanted for ages. Actually, yeah, no, I think about it. I only got stuff that I've wanted for a long time. So it hasn't been an impulse buying day. It almost was. It almost was when I went to Chanel, but self-discipline and self-control won, thank God. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel now and end my day. Hi guys, so I am back in my hotel now. I'm extremely hungry. I haven't eaten yet, like proper food. All I ate was soup at one restaurant and the soup wasn't even that good. It wasn't even that good. So I'm going to go to Rafa now, which is like a street food market. This is my outfit. I'm going to try and show it in a better way. But yeah, I'm not going to take my camera camera with me just because I'm not actually bringing a bag. I didn't bring any purses because I, I just didn't really have space. So yeah, we're going to work with what we have. Um, This is the outfit. Coat I bought. This top is, I think it's from Zara. And then yeah, same bottoms and belt as earlier. So yeah, I'm hoping I will like Rafa. Let's see what the street food is saying. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh. Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat. What's left of me? favorite albums ever ever guys let me play you one of my favorite gospel songs ever you, i've been captivated that's love that saves me i'm in love i cannot remember what i was doing before i met you i've been captivated this is it greenhouse prayer room Before I met you, I've been captivated by this love that saves me. And I'm in love, I cannot remember what I was doing before I met you. I've been captivated by this love that saves me. Okay guys, yeah, I have to actually leave the house now because it's almost 10 o'clock. But yeah, happy Easter. Let me take these off. Today's plan, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna try and do some sightseeing of places I haven't gotten a chance to go to yet. I'm also going to Tivoli Gardens today and Delphine for dinner. So super excited. Before I go, I need to tell you guys about last night. One of you guys DM'd me on Instagram and she recommended, like she recommended a few places. Like it was such an in-depth guide. I was, I was like, oh my heart you guys are too lovely too nice shout out to melissa so yeah she told me also her family owns a restaurant here in case i need a food wreck and i was like oh my gosh like 
Italian food. I'm always, always down for Italian food. So I went there last night and it was, oh my gosh, when I say the best experience ever like it actually made my trip and i'm so blessed like she wasn't there because she studies in another part of denmark but her dad was there who owns the restaurant and that man is an angel like oh my gosh you know when you go to a restaurant and the service is just like unbelievable the food was so good as well but oh my gosh that man was so kind like i had such a a deep and heartwarming conversation with him and it really made me just reflect on life and how beautiful life is and how beautiful people are and even strangers are like they were so kind to me I, I can't even explain as though it couldn't get better he didn't let me pay for my meal and I was like oh my gosh please like because I love supporting family businesses I was like please let me pay and he was like no absolutely not absolutely not because his daughter told him that he shouldn't let me and I was just like oh my gosh i'm not even kidding when i say that's the highlight of my trip and honestly like that entire experience one of the most lovely things that's ever happened to me i'm so grateful i'm so full of joy it was so wholesome yeah now it's easter sunday i know you guys aren't gonna see this on easter but remember to praise god remember to thank god whenever you do see this the tomb is empty and that song i was just dancing to it says one particular line I am in love. I cannot remember what I was doing before I met you. And I'm just, oh, like, it, even just listening to those lyrics, I cannot remember what I was doing before I met you, Jesus. Like, it made me cry this morning, genuinely speaking, like, oh, just thinking about it. God has been so good to me, and he saved me from so many things, guys. I used to be the most oh, depressed person, the most depressed person. I used to deal so badly with social anxiety. I used to have my life governed by fear and Jesus just absolutely turned it around and has saved me and to know that he's alive is my hope today and forevermore and I'm just so grateful so happy Easter I love you guys and yeah let's see what the rest of the day holds <laughs> Copenhagen is such a colorful city. Everything has color. The stores, the ornaments, the houses. And yeah, it's so cute. Like, I'm just like, such a colorful city. One of my favorite things about solo trips is actually the freedom and I realized how much I value my own independence and my ability to choose to do what I want in my own time on this trip. For example, I feel like I am such a person who's so appreciative of art and if I was with somebody who didn't care so much I would have been rushing myself but I'm so glad that I was able to slow down, take in all of the art pieces and just breathe. You know, in med school you're so used to being on a a constant high, constantly rushing, constantly trying to do as much as you can in the time that you have. And this trip has been so beautiful in that I could just take things slowly at my own pace and breathe. <laughs> my lovelies i am on my way to tivoli gardens now which is the second oldest amusement park 
in the world, literally the amusement park that inspired Walt Disney to create Disneyland. So yeah, it's currently eight o'clock. It closes at 10, so I'm not gonna have much time, but honestly, like I'm not feeling like doing many rides if I even go on any. I just wanna walk around the place at night, you know. So this is the outfit, simple, simple. I am re-wearing my closet again. Like this whole trip's outfit is really giving, it's really giving capsule wardrobe, honestly, so. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing. It's my last night out here, so I think it's gonna be a great way to end my trip. See how it goes. Mm -hmm.